hi all welcome back so today in this video we are going to see that uh, how to create a folder and store the document into that folder only so this application you might be aware about if you are not i will give the link in the description so this application is about to upload the document and assign reviewer and get it reviewed so that it does so in that what we used to do here is that let's say we upload a file okay and i have a test file data so something like this i have named the document whatever the file that i will upload it will go into a particular folder only okay but instead of that what we need here is that whatever the document we upload it should go and get stored into its separate uh, file only separate uh, folder only document the title which we are uploading it should have a separate folder of its own so this is how we have done that click on submit and let me show you the flow here once you have clicked on submit first of all the flow checks that the folder exists or not whether it is a new folder or not if it doesn't exist then it creates a folder and after that we have used their move document smart service okay and once the document is moved then we also have created a field for folder id then we store that uh, created folder into our database as well and finally the document is moved so this is the one flow next time what can happen is that a user can come here and they can also remove the previous document and instead of that they can upload a new document in that case we don't have to create a new folder okay in that folder only we can store that for example for our last data see test file data review has been created and one new file we have uploaded just now so any file folder that we are seeing here see it will directly go into the move document so that's the flow we are uh, about to see here so let's get started on this one and check the flow first of all in order to create a folder what we need here is a create folder a smart service okay so this is the create folder a smart service okay now the question is that whether where should i place this a smart service should i place it before writing the data or after that so see writing data is very important even if the document is not moved later on we can manually move that but data is very important so what we will do here is that we will use it after write records let's create a new lane to move documents so move documents so this is the lane where we will moving the documents first of all we will create a folder here okay and once a folder has been created so see this is uh, we can remove that because from here it won't go to end node first of all it will create a folder after creating the folder it will move into move the document into this created folder here okay that's it so that's it as of now we needed here okay now let's try to see that okay create folder Let, let's try to configure this create folder a smart service first of all we will go into parent knowledge folder so let's try to browse our parent knowledge center here and then we will configure it so our is a document review so it should be with the dr so a b c d and it is the document knowledge center review so this is this one parent folder so parent folder we don't need to select that there is no parent folder if in the knowledge center only this is the knowledge center as you can see so in this knowledge center only multiple folders are going to get created here okay so and what should be the name for the folder hmm, that is very important so see if you see my uh, this one so if you see we don't have any validation for titles okay so title can be you know like same or uh, different as well but uh, a folder with this title name obviously we can create that so first of all what we will give here is dr document dot title this is the title and but if what if the title of two title become same then folder again you know like duplicate folder will get created with duplicate names so we just to make it unique what we will do here is concatenate it with uh, let's say title is there and then we will uh, write it here a review uh, id so review id also we will give it here and then idpk we will write it that's it so always the idpk is there idpk is always unique so we don't have any issue and now we can click on created folder okay so new folder and new and we can make it a small letter that's it
so a folder is created and now we have to move that document into this particular folder so which is the document that you need to move that you have to make it here so we are already getting the document see here this is the file id that we are getting right so we are already getting the file id select that file id and the destination what is the destination uh, our destination is the new folder that we variables that we have just now created but see this is a type okay it is already of type folder that's great and we want the folder type only and do we have need any output we don't need any output here that's it so once we are written into this document we can publish it and we can check that now let's try to upload a file here click on upload file okay and i will give here test file one okay test file uh, doc so something like this i will click on upload a file and i will click on this sample one okay so one instance would have been triggered here let's monitor that instance as well so this is that instance and now we will click on submit button once you have clicked on the submit button then see what will happen it would it has successfully created a folder and now it will move the document to that folder as well let's see that in the knowledge center as of now only three folders are available click on refresh and you will get another folder oh but review id is null okay so are we not storing the output here let's see that write records we have and in that we can store the data outputs is not there oh that is why the idpk is not coming okay so it was not there uh, we can just try that once again and uh, then we can store that let's try that once again okay uh, doc file i have given the name here click on this download here and click on upload submit it and now next time when this is created it will get with the help of idpk see here and the new file is not in the uploaded file initially it used to go into the uploaded files here but now it won't go into the uploaded file last was this one only so see here click on the, go to the knowledge center go to this seven here and see here whatever the document that you have uploaded it is coming here so this is how we create a folder in the process model and move that document as well till here it looks very straightforward and simple but uh, the problem starts you know like when let's say like somebody want to edit the document then what will happen they will uh, either update let's say like they have updated the name till here no issues but what if they remove the file and they try to upload a new file there instead of this one i will i want this one then what will happen then uh, again it will go and create the folder only correct uh, still it will create a new folder and will try to move into that but already a folder exists so we should store our document into that particular folder only how we will manage that okay so for that what we will do here is that in our record that is present document record we are only storing the file id if you see what if we store the folder id as well because anyway we are dealing with one document only so we can store the our folder as the id as well that is very important so store our folder id click on number integer and this one click on save changes so folder id is very important here so whenever we will create a folder what we will do we will store our folder id also in our record once the folder id has been uh, has been stored we will try to check if folder exists then we will just try to move the document we, we won't create a new folder now let's see what will happen next time so i will try to cancel this action once again okay and now what we will do here is uh, we will check uh, let's say like here it is writing into write to document so we have added the folder id now let's go into the write to document here and we will try to update our folder id into the write to document so here we will try to update the folder id update folder id and when updating the folder id what we can do here is if you go to the setup type directly if you see a record input but here edit option is also there so it re re okay it really is very ha handful here because we can directly update the data while writing as well okay so the data that we need to update is dr document and the index at which we need to update is document okay dr document is there right dr document dot folder id this is what we need to update and the value that we which which 
with which we need to update is PV bank okay PV bank new folder okay why I am using two integer because by default the type of new folder is a folder here okay that's why we are converting into integer here click on save and close and here we just have to write here dr document that's it click on ok and we are ready to publish our process model and see that it's working click on upload file once again okay and new uh, id proof something like this i have written here okay click on up file upload and now click on this one click on submit once we have submitted a new in the our knowledge center we will get a new folder new proof id 9 and if i click on this one of if i open this folder a new file is also present here that is also fine okay let's go to the process instances our first instance and see here folder id will also get updated so let's go to our database and check that see folder id finally got updated here 9659 is our folder id all right so we are getting our folder id as well in this one why okay now what was the huge case why we were storing our folder id why because see the problem arises when we want to update the data so what if i want to edit the document and i want to instead of that one i want to upload a new document here so what will happen in that case here is that instead of this document we want to upload another document so it will it should not create a new folder but how we will prevent that see just now i have tried to you know like open an instance so that instance is available here as well see our first instance is available here go to that one and check are we getting the folder id uh here are we here we are not able to see that let's go to the process details and see here folder id we are getting 9659 is our folder id great we got the folder id so we just have to make one more check here okay before writing into this document here click on xor gateway okay and let's try to move all this a bit to here okay and here i will make an xor gateway so i just want to check that if folder is already created okay we don't want to create the folder directly i want to move this document and end the process that's it if folder is already created we don't need anything else apart from that so what i will do here is i will check here first of all okay folder created okay folder exists if folder exists so here i will write the label as no and here i will write the label as yes okay and if folder exists then we just need to move the document nothing else we need to do okay and i don't want to drag my note to that uh, there so it's better to end it here only much better okay so i can directly end it here as well so now let's check that so in our condition what should be uh, what should be our condition because when we are trying to get the data we are getting that uh, what uh, for folder id right so if folder id is null or empty then it should directly go into the create folder otherwise it should go into the move document let's see do we need to change move document here so the document that we need to move here is uh, this one only great and where we need to move the document see below node is already like uh, we have that data here folder id right this is the folder id in which we want to move just convert into folder because it needs the data type as folder so that it doesn't throw any errors it requires folder but our data is stored in 9659 which is an integer here so i have done that that's it click on publish so our values are now ready so what i will do click on cancel here and instead of this id proof i will remove this id proof here i will click on upload and instead of that i will write this one here so see what will happen let's check our instance as well first instance is this one and see the currently i'm at the file upload click on submit button once i have submitted the button let's see it will directly go to move the document it won't go to create any folder at all so here in our knowledge center another document is also stored here the previous document is also there 
now this is another huge case if we want if you want like no i have removed uh, the user has removed the previous uh, document so uh, which it should also get removed that one if we want so that can also happen but as of now like uh, our use case was just to create folder and store the document so if we want to remove the previous document as well delete that so we can also do that as well okay so that we will see in some other session so that was the uh, main review of it when we are trying to add a file so what we will do here create the folder move the document and up upload update the folder id as well in which folder it is stored so that for each value we can go inside that and check the folder what are the documents directly we can get it okay and if we are trying to update those so folder already exist we know that okay that we are doing it here and if folder already exist then move that document to that folder that's it so that's all we are uh, doing here okay so that was all for now thank you